What is up? We are back on Fake Cloud Gens, and finally, I have made a generator farm. The island is completely different. I'll get into that in just a minute. But if you do want to come try out the best gen server out here in Minecraft, the IP is there on the screen zap.fakecloud.com. Of course, come check it out. And if you also don't know, I do giveaways every single video. So the last giveaway winner is up there on the screen. If you ever want to enter any of my giveaways, literally just comment your in game name on all of my videos, and that's how you enter. But yeah, they won 1,000 clouds, and then I'm giving away another one thousand clouds which is equivalent to about 10 real life dollars you can spend your clouds on the slash buy this is where you can get like ranks and stuff but in the last video i left off by i believe doing some mining and finally getting some totems the one thing that i've never done is properly set up a gen farm so right here is like one of the best setups that i know to make a simple gen farm for like a solo player i'm sure if you have a lot of teammates and a lot of gens you might want to make like a larger farm but this works because when i get more gen slots i can just keep expanding it up and up and up but down here i also have one of these infinite collectors and as you can see we are sitting at prestige 25 i haven't done too much grinding but i've done a bit and a couple things i want to catch you up on is i do have a fully maxed out soulless armor set that is the armor set we unlock at prestige 10 so i got that set fully maxed out and then we're about to start unlocking the dragon armor which will be pretty cool but down here is this infinite collector now how many money do i have in here i have 25 billion money and about 200 million experience so i believe i have a booster in here yes okay so we have one 1.5x money booster i'm gonna activate that and then we will sell our cell wands and that just made us how much money i think we just got like 172 billion money or something and we are sitting at level 185 i'm gonna fully keep all of our money now because here's why so let's finally now go to the warp of pets and because we are at prestige 25 i can finally buy the forest of pet egg i'm actually so hyped for this because farming has been kind of slow recently because i am at prestige 25 though i have unlocked a few more of these enchants that i got a few thousand levels of and then i also got some more enchants on the pickaxe we've been able to gain a lot of tokens from mining so that's been pretty awesome but let me fly over to this pet egg and honestly any pets will be helpful because it gives us an exp booster so let's do this and open a bunch of pets just gotta spam them open i'll only do like okay let's do like nine more i forgot my audio was off so i'll turn that on but we got a legendary owl pet that is a 1x exp multiplier and then i got a ton of these fox pets but here's the cool thing with the pet system if I go down to this pet fusion, I can actually select a bunch of these fox pets. And oh my god, okay, so I can select these different pets to fuse them together. And every pet I select will increase the apply chance, but it also increase the cost of gems. So I guess if I do this, right, if I select like these seven pets, it's a 70% chance to work, but it costs 8.5 million gems. I guess I'll just select one more. So 12 million gems, 80% success chance. That no way it just failed. I just lost so many gems in all of those pets oh my god okay so what i was trying to show you is let me buy a bunch more so hopefully this works this time we're gonna go with just a 70 percent apply chance that one did work okay so that turned into a golden status pet if you'll take a look at this now my multiplier is a 0.9x instead of a 0.6x so i'll equip that and then i'm just gonna equip another fox all these other pets honestly don't matter so i can just delete them all there's also pet upgrades which cost gems and what i wanted to see is yeah it doesn't really seem like there's any like amazing amazing pet upgrade for like increasing your exp but i will buy like a few of these i'll buy like 10 levels the reason we want to do that is because it'll help me gain more exp for my pets because right now all the pets are level one and as they level up our exp multiplier will become greater oh my gosh the server's restarting in 10 minutes so we got to go quick okay the tool upgrades here i do have enough money to buy more upgrades so i think i'm going to just sink the rest of my money into this and we actually might not run out of money and we hit the prestige 30 requirement so so I can't increase it again but if we take a look at the tool you can see that our exp multiplier attribute is at a 3.25x that is awesome so I just want to show you a couple things firstly right now I have so many new enchants so right there that is the grimoire spell look at that it's just destroying a bunch of the farms at a time or the crops at a time giving me a ton of exp I want to show you a couple more enchants b bomb is pretty cool that's of course the tnt blast enchant let me see if I can get b bomb to go off uh okay right there or sorry b swarm look at this it just drops a bunch of grenades on the map giving you a ton of exp which is cool that is ravage dash as you can see it spawns a ravager that uh breaks everything but one other thing i want to show you is from our quest system if you remember the slash quests i was eventually able to start earning some of the tool buffs and these are pretty cool because tool buffs are like these extra stats you can apply to your tool and we have three of those tool buff tokens so i'm going to roll one of the buffs that gave me minor one that is literally the worst one that's 10 percent more tokens okay 
Okay, we'll try it again. If that gave me money one, and then okay, please give us something decent. So grinder three. Wait, grinder three is actually really good. That gives me 20% more EXP. That is actually pretty sick. So now what I want to see is can we slash prestige? Oh, wait, yeah, I can. So we'll prestige there. And I do not want to spend all of my tokens because if I do that, then I won't have any to keep prestiging. So I'm gonna buy another hundred levels of domain. That's at level 362. And then I honestly think I probably should start actually maxing out some enchants. So so, I mean, I could max out TNT Blast, but that almost uses all of the tokens. So I'll just get like an extra few thousand levels. Now, Ravage Dash does give a lot of EXP. I would like to get more levels of this, but it is very expensive. So we'll just get like a plus a thousand. And yeah, I think we should probably save the rest of the tokens. I mean, I guess I can buy Max Key Finder, but I should save rest of the 4.7 billion tokens that we have for prestiging. But look how fast we are prestiging right now. Already level, okay, like 45. The amount of levels that we gain is just so stupid already back to level 75 and then beast swarms going off that should gain us even more levels so to prestige again we need i think it's like what 170 levels yeah so getting back to where we were honestly should not take that long and then of course we're gonna throw our prestige stat into exp i've been putting all of my stats into exp because we want to get the most amount of exp possible oh yeah ravage dash is gaining me so much exp that has brought us up to like plus 15 levels level 110 so yeah the server's about to restart though and i do gotta show you something here so we have 35 Five vote keys i've been voting every single day stocking up for the video and honestly dude oh my gosh wait i just figured something out i can literally turn off oh my god i can turn off the playing of the animations so i can now just spam open all the vote crits like this that makes my life so much easier i thought i was gonna have to like waste so much time opening all those vote keys up and then we have 50 pro keys to open 3.2k grind keys uh, another couple pro keys 27 elite keys and then 20 master crates with all of that we got some more dragon eggs which i'll of course open all up nice i got an exp booster that'll be helpful we got another money booster some of these cubes that would be good we got some dragon candy and these other booster boxes which oh my god yes a 2x exp multiplier booster for 15 minutes that is awesome and the 2x tokens booster that is also pretty cool let me open these two cube boxes we got avalanche uh, and then ravage dash these are horrible tnt blast cube that one sucks as well a one percent booster they okay what I'm gonna do though is keep farming until the restart and then I'll activate that booster when we're back All right, the server is back online and I can now prestige again So uh, let's hit that prestige throw that prestige point into the exp stats and yeah I guess we'll just uh, level up a thousand times really fast. I'm a little confused I keep getting these angelic shards But I think players are just dropping them on the ground because I also just got a random dragon shard All my dragon shards store into my backpack. So I don't really know like what the heck is happening All right, and I just prestige to level 20 28. I think I forgot to mention that I activated those 2x boosters, but yeah, we did that. And uh, look how many levels I gain. I don't know why. It's just so satisfying after you prestige. Like already jumping up to level 80, and I'm about to be 100. Okay, yep, 80. Okay, 90. All right, and uh, we'll prestige once more. And we're one prestige away from hitting prestige 30. The reason I'm even excited about this is because at prestige 30, we unlock a brand new crop to select, and that will speed up our progression to the future prestiges super, super fast. All right, I'm 85% of the way about okay. Sorry 95. Oh, nope. Never mind. We hit level 185 so I can now prestige again there we go. What the heck is happening? I'm already level 87. All right. Also, I forgot to throw my other EXP stats into the prestige points, but we now have an extra plus 120% booster from the EXP stats. That is pretty good, but let me go check this out. I want to see how much EXP the new farm gives. It is now the nether warts crop, which is pretty cool. And yeah, as I said, I literally don't really know how to calculate how much EXP this is, but it looks like we are gaining levels a lot faster. We're already at level 120. Let me just double check here. Yes, we unlocked the present finder enchant while farming we could find random presents with rewards i'll buy like 50 levels just because why not but i want to of course keep saving my tokens pretty soon though i gotta go get better totems from the mining as we do have better ores unlocked because we're such higher prestige and then also the next farm egg we unlock at prestige 50 so there's like a lot of like little bit of progression that we gotta do to get to like the next big step of the game but that is actually going to wrap up this video the next one what i would really like to do is finally get some stamps using the slash recipe system to craft these different stamps and then artifact boxes those will give us great boosters which will also help the progression but yeah that is gonna wrap up this video make sure you do come try out the server and i will see you all later